Since 2012, UNFPA, in cooperation with the Myanmar Nurse and Midwife Association, have trained midwives in Myanmar and deployed them in areas where the needs are greatest, such as hard to reach rural and internally displaced persons or IDP camps in Rakhine and Kachin state, where health facilities are in short supply. So far, 130 midwives, locally known as the Red Angels, have been trained and deployed to all corners of the country for a period of two years. Ten of these midwives have been deployed to Myanmar's Rakhine stage, where they are part of life-saving mobile teams, providing reproductive health services to townships in the city area and IDP camps. These mobile teams are managed by UNFPA's implementing partner, the Myanmar Medical Association. Matha Ipu is a 23-year-old midwife and one of a team of 10 UNFPA-supported midwives that are working in Rakhine stage, mainly in Sitwe and Mipong Township, located in central western Myanmar. <laughs> Mathe Ipu completed her midwifery education in 2013 and had been deployed to Sidri ever since. The two year midwifery education, which includes a mix of theory as well as hands on practical training, is carried out at the Yangon South Tako Medina Health Clinic. As part of her education, she was taught how to handle antenatal delivery and postnatal care, emergency obstetric care, post-abortion care, prevention of mother-to-child transmission of HIV, the minimum initial service package for reproductive health, in crisis situation and gender-based violence, including family planning, which is referred to in Myanmar as birth spacing. With the support of UNFPA, the midwifery education has since 2013 been extended from 18 months to a two-year diploma course. Properly trained midwives have reduced instances of maternal deaths and child deaths in Myanmar, which remain high with an estimated 200 maternal deaths per 100,000 live births. In Myanmar, there are currently only 1.3 health workers for every 1,000 people. This is less than the 2.3 standard advised by the World Health Organization. For Myanmar, to achieve the Millennium Development Goals 4 and 5, to reduce maternal deaths to 105 maternal deaths per 100,000 live births, it is estimated that an additional 7,000 midwives or scale birth attendants are needed. UNFP is supporting this goal, backing efforts by partners to increase the capacity of Myanmar's 50 midwifery and nursing training schools. Part of the daily task include organizing interactive training sections for recipients living in the camps. This training section focuses on issuing relating to basic hygiene, antenatal care, delivery, breastfeeding, neonatal and postnatal care, including nutritional support and family planning. <laughs>
I have received the sign approximately 10 times, I think during my antenatal period. This is the first time since I delivered my child. I am quite satisfied with the service which I have received. After a long day's work attending to patients, the midwives go back to their house to first lock their activities and to prepare for the next day's assignment. ကျမတို့တဖက်ဆောင်းနေဆိုတာမျိုးလဲမတွေ့ပါဘူးကျမကိုတွေရတော့ကျမတို့ကိုတိုင်လဲပေါ့ကျမတို့ကိုတိုင